Hi friends, um, good evening. It's April 10th today, um, 2019. It's hot and it is 6 in the evening here in Trivandrum, Kerala. I wanted to share some um, information and my experience of growing uh, this beautiful um, gardenia plant. Um, okay, so um, I didn't know much about gardening too enough. I mean, I I know uh, normal uh, plants like um, cosmos and zinnias and balsams, uh, marigolds and etc. Uh, <clears throat> but I didn't really uh, know much about these exotic type of plants like powder puff, uh, gladiolus. Uh, there are different types of rain lilies, aster, gardenia and many more. So and ever since i started um, seeing posts about these on uh, the facebook groups that i joined that i'm part of um, i started learning more about it and try to understand um, if it would grow in our climatic condition it's tropical it's hot and humid uh, we don't really have winter and all that uh, unlike growing plants in um, places like shimla or uti and all that um, um, I bought this plant for 25 rupees uh, online uh, from somebody from Pune and he shipped two plants to me actually. Um, they are uh, a year and a half old right now and I'm seeing their bloom for the first time and I'm very excited, very happy. Um, you, you won't really know how happy I am because I waited for this for so long and uh, uh, the plant is healthy. Um, I want to show because I bought two plants at the same time, uh, planted both of them, but uh, kept them in two different places and um, in different parts. Um, but there isn't any change in the watering or uh, the fertilizing schedule. It's just that um, they've kept in different uh, places where they get uh, sunlight at different times and um, in different small and big pot. Okay, so the one that we have here is about two feet high. And uh, you can see that I've put that on a, a medium-sized clay pot. Um, it is... Um, the hard uh, stem has um, matured very well and it started to branch out. It's not a big plant, it's a small one. Um, so this is one of them. And there is another one. It's kept in a small plastic pot. It is like, um, I think it's a nine inch pot probably or this, I don't know if it's a, it's a very small pot actually. And um, uh, the main stem has uh, matured like the other one and it had a lot more branches but haven't bloomed yet and you can see there's a lot of yellow leaves and um, the growth is good it's okay i don't know if it's very healthy compared to the other one um, and i think it has started to uh, put buds because i noticed one here then uh, um, i think this is leaf probably I don't even know if it has started to but uh, yet because I was uh, keeping a tab on it all the time um, so I think this is still going to grow uh, and these plants are acid loving and I used to put um, one uh, teaspoon of vinegar in one liter of water and um, give them uh, along with my hydrangea um, so I did that um, somehow this isn't blooming yet um, and this one is kept in partial shade so they get sunlight only for some time they don't get full sunlight throughout the day whereas this guy was um, on full sun and you know how hot it gets um, I don't know about daily weather but it, it can get really hot in um, uh, during the months uh, between April to uh, April m from March onwards March April May and June somewhat probably so um, there are two things. So one was in full sun and I've kept on a bigger pot and a small pot versus a partial seed and little sunlight. Um, so you can see both the plants. And uh, um, uh, I don't know if it would flower only uh, once in a year. I have to uh, uh, check it out. Um, the buds will look something like this. So this is a flower bud. This is still small. I think it'll take uh, maybe a week or so to um, uh, mature really uh, 
well and bloom open up and the one that you see here is uh, still uh, opening up in the morning it was kind of you know I was thinking that it'll bloom tomorrow but now uh, it is kind it is opened up around 80% uh, so morning tomorrow is going to be we can see that in full bloom um, so another one so another one here so this will take two more days probably so um, the buds start of um, you know the buds were there in green color for more than a month and I was waiting for it to bloom but it took its own time um, don't know if that is the time it takes I have to wait um, look out uh, look out for the other buds and I'll um, update um, so that is about the flowering um, about it and you saw the um, uh, way the plants are being watered and uh, maintained um, fertilizer uh, it's just like any all of the plants I don't give anything different I put um, a handful of cow dung and uh, mix the soil well on top uh, once every month um, and if I'm putting bone meal for rose I do the same for these plants as well one teaspoon um, and I used to spray neem oil because they get infected with mealybugs so you have to watch out for them underneath the leaves and on your stems um, and joints so they would destroy the plant so that is the only pest that I got on my plant once but I as I treat all my plants one, once in a month so it wasn't a problem for me um, it went away um, other than that um, yeah always try to put that in big pot I'm being lazy I have to transplant it into a bigger pot I'll do that maybe next month and I'll uh, monitor its growth and uh, its flowering uh, period and um, I'm really waiting for it to flower uh, as far as propagation is concerned I think it is by stem uh, once it branches out a little bit I will try to uh, propagate take a stem cutting and try to do that as I experiment with other plants um, and then I'll share more update so don't hesitate to buy gardenia or grow gardenia and they have very sweet fragrance very nice and I just love them um, mild and um, it's like perfume smell I liked it very much um, but sitting close to it I don't really uh, sense the smell but I had to go close and sniff it in the morning um, oh yeah I can feel it now wow it's so good so um, I told you about um, how to grow how to water what to feed um, and uh, propagation I'll come back so thank you for watching and um, happy gardening folks